Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is attempt number two because the first one did not fucking record the sound. So here we go. We're not going to waste any time. We're just going to jump right into it. No BS. This is for the season three finale of The Boys. And holy crap, it was a great fucking episode. We got to see a lot of shocker stuff. We got to see the close of some stories. Some stories were left open. And we got to see some great action. I really fucking loved it. But anyways, let's jump right into it. We left off in the last episode where it was re revealed that Soldier Boy is Homelander's dad, biologically speaking anyways. He was a sperm donor, more or less, because Homelander was formed in a fucking tube. And, you know, we think that maybe they're going to reconcile or whatever the case is because Soldier Boy actually calls up Homelander at the end of the last episode and explains the whole situation to him. So, it's at this point the Soldier Boy, not Soldier Boy, but Homelander goes to visit his son, which he had with Butcher's wife, Rebecca. This kid's name is Ryan, and at this point he's been in hiding because they wanted to keep him from Homelander because he's such a psychopath. And so he kidnap kidnaps him, and... You know, we see that the boys are still intent on coming after Homelander, even though Soldier Boy has revealed this, and he still is willing to hold up his end of the bargain from what we know. And they're talking about how they're going to get him and where they're going to get him. And so they're going after him at Vought Tower. That's where the big showdown happens. But leading up to that, you know, Noir... Black Noir makes his reappearance at Vought Tower. He comes out of hiding to confront Homelander, hopefully to gain his trust again so they can take out Soldier Boy because Black Noir, like I said, has this history with Soldier Boy that he's a complete piece of shit to him, and so he is wanting to team up Homelander to kill him. But it is revealed that Black Noir knew all along that Soldier Boy was Homelander's dad and Homelander kills him for it. You know, that's not really a shocker by any means. He punches a hole through his gut and leaves him to bleed to death on the floor and choke on his own blood and all that fun stuff. So, then it's after this that we have Starlight, Maeve, Mother's Milk, Butcher, Huey, all the boys come to Vought Tower with Soldier Boy with the intent to kill Homelander, and Homelander's there with Ryan, basically tries to convince Soldier Boy that here is the family that he's always wanted because we learned that Soldier Boy, he was basically treated like shit by his father, and when he got his superpowers, he was hoping that this would earn his father's respect, but it turns out it didn't. And then, uh, you know, he kind of, it was just a, he's a traumatized piece of shit after that, but... And he is uh, there with Homelander, and Homelander's trying to talk up, you know, hey, I'm your son, this is your grandson, we, we are the family that you've always wanted. Soldier Boy doesn't take it. He thinks that Homelander is pathetic. He is, you know, starving for someone's attention. He thinks he's, you know, just a worthless piece of shit, basically. He is pissed that he couldn't be there to raise him to be a man and, you know, teach him what he needed to be taught instead of, what he calls him a pathetic pussy, I think. And naturally that doesn't sit well with Homelander. And then also his son, Homelander's son, tries to intervene, gets him tossed around a room. So in turn, this pisses off Butcher. And so Butcher says, fuck it, he's going after Soldier Boy now for doing that shit because he made a promise to Rebecca that Ryan would be safe. And so they ensue in a battle in Vought Tower. And at this point, Maeve is there, and, you know, she was being held captive, and during a transfer, she actually was able to escape, and she's now there to basically put it into Homelander herself, because she has such hatred for him for everything he's done and the things he's done to her, and so they get into a big brawl, and it's going back and forth till the point that Homelander sticks his thumb in her eye, and so she's down for a few minutes. Meanwhile, Butcher, Starlight, they're all fighting Soldier Boy and getting tossed around all over the place. They actually break 
uh, Soldier Boy Shield, which he was incredibly pissed about. And during this whole fight, Butcher gets his ass knocked out. Starlight is there. Huey is off in this control room. He is basically just trying to keep his promise that he will not take any more Tent V because he now knows that it can kill him because Butcher kind of, without saying it, he saved his life and knocked his ass out and left him behind before they went to this battle at Vought Tower. And it's during this battle that Starlight is, you know, because we know that she gains her energy from the electricity and the environment so Huey's in this control room. He's jacking up all these lights, giving her all this extra power, and she's boosting up to the point where she's actually floating in the air, and she lets off this blast, but unfortunately it has little to no effect on Soldier Boy. And so it's after this, after Homelander and Maeve, they're in this fight. Maeve gets to the point where she sees Soldier Boy charging up to basically take out the whole room again, just like he did at Herogasm, where he destroyed that entire house and killed a bunch of people. She takes it upon herself to tackle him out the window out of Vought Tower, and this massive explosion goes off. It almost looks like a nuclear bomb goes off because we have a nice little mushroom cloud and everything. So we just assume that they are dead from that blast, but it turns out they both live, but Maeve is now completely human. She was affected by his blast just like anybody else that was affected by it. She now does not have any abilities. And we see in um, some security footage from Vought that they're viewing that Maeve is picked up by the boys and she is now in hiding. And actually, I can't remember her name, the redheaded boss or whatever, she actually deletes that footage because I think she, in a way, wants to protect... Maeve from being found out by Homelander because like I said Maeve at this point she is completely powerless she is going to try to live a normal life and so after this battle like I said we assume that Soldier Boy himself was dead just because it was such a massive explosion but it turns out he is not dead but he is back in captivity and he's gassed out and they've got him secured up in this facility and you know we don't know if that's going to be the last that we see of him. I don't imagine it will be. I, but I don't know. I don't know the comics. Just like with um, Walking Dead, I didn't know the comics until probably a few seasons in of watching The Walking Dead. And I wanted to see what I was missing on the comics because everyone says the comics are so much better. And in some aspects, I absolutely agree because certain showrunners really fucked up Walking Dead and missed out on some opportunities that they could have really improved upon with material from the comics. But, you know, in that little side rant and get back to the boys, you know, like I said, Maeve is now in hiding, and the boys are kind of doing their own thing. Butcher is now in the hospital because the Temp V has taken its effect, and he is told by the doctor that he has maybe a year, year and a half to live. But in true Butcher fashion, he tells him to fuck off. And... I think it's that point he's decided he's not going to hold back anything. And the boys with Starlight and everybody, they're back at their headquarters. And they find out that the senator or this governor or whoever she was is now running for vice president with Bobby Singer because they had the original uh, candidate assassinated by the Deep. He actually drowns him in his own pool. And this woman's now running for vice president of the United States. And then we see Butcher stumble back in after getting out of the hospital. And basically right then and there, they decide, you know, she has to go. Because she poses such a danger to the general public. Because we find out early in the season that she's actually a super self that can blow up people's heads by looking at them. And that's the last person you want in the fucking White House. So... I'm really excited for next season. You know, it sucks that we'll probably be waiting the typical year or so for the next season. Um, but also closing off that episode, we see Homelander with his son Ryan introduce him to a crowd at a Homelander rally. And, you know, she introduces him as his son. He gets there and everything. And then this random protester throws something at Ryan. And right then and there, Homelander doesn't hesitate. He lasers his head and, you know, blows up his head. 
And, you know, not to my surprise, the crowd loves it. And one of those crowd members is actually Mother's Milk's daughter's stepdad, who, without a doubt, is, he's lost touch with reality. With reality. He is a fucking scumbag. And, you know, we'll see what happens with that guy. I think he's going to get himself killed at some point. But that kind of closes off the episode. And, like I said, we'll, we will probably be waiting a year or more for the next season. But I have no complaints. This was, this season, you know, it went by so fast and everything, too, because they released the first three episodes all at once. And then it just seemed like it was over in an instant. But it was a great season. They did not disappoint by any means. And I'm just excited for the next season, and I hope we're not waiting too long for it. But anyways, guys, that was my review and my breakdown of the Season 3 finale of The Boys. It was a great episode. I highly recommend the series as a whole. And I think that'll do it, guys. So until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks.